everybody ramadan kareem bismillahir rahmanir rahim in the name of allah the most beneficent the most kind i wanted to take a few minutes of your time today to say ramadan mubarak may allah bless us all with a spiritual and blessed month our fastings be accepted our ibadats be raised to heaven every single night and we be kind of our hearts and mindful of our tongues um in our series to introduce some of the converts in the recent years mcc is trying to focus every saturday on one person who has impacted one of us in our personal way or in our mosque and today i have the pleasure of introducing you to one of my favorite people georgia so um georgia <laughs> plays many roles in my life she's my mentor because although she's much younger than i am um she has taught me that once you set your mind to be guided towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you find ways towards him and he opens doors of ease and mercy and raises you um, she inspires me to be a better muslim every day and i hope her story will inspire you as well georgia is a daughter to me she's a part of my family and um, we have grown to appreciate and this ramadan we are very sad that we don't get to see her just yet we're hoping that by eid we will be able to uh, visit with her and she can come over and uh more than anything georgia is a friend with whom i giggle and i laugh <laughs> and uh we share uh lots of common things about books and shows and what crazy stuff we have been up to um, so without with any further ado i will um, introduce you to georgia and ask her to to give us a little background on who she is <laughs> Assalamualaikum. Oh my gosh, that was such a nice intro. <laughs> Thank you, Humaira. Um, yeah, so I am, let's see, general background about me. I grew up in the Bay Area. Um, I'm going to college right now for creative producing for film and television. Um, and I converted officially at MCC two and a half years ago, I believe. Um, so yeah that's a quick background about me <laughs> what's your passion georgia tell everybody about that because i think it's very fascinating <laughs> um i love uh writing and producing um like tv and and films um i grew up watching movies and movies have always been a really big part of my life um and so i just i love telling stories however whatever form um and representation is also really important to me um so i hope to be able to write and tell lots of different people's stories so people can see themselves on screen and i'm very excited for georgia to step into this field i think muslim representation by a female is definitely needed and we are very excited to soon see <laughs> in the credits georgia's name um and go cheer her on so please keep her in your duas so today because it's ramadan it's the actually first of ramadan right after juma salah that we are sitting to to chat and uh so georgia i just wanted to ask you what was your first ramadan like what was good what was hard you know tell us a little bit about your first experience yeah um so my first ramadan that like i actually fasted for was uh three years ago so when i was a senior in high school um i had been kind of studying islam for about a year but the previous uh ramadan i i just didn't really know what to do so i hadn't done much so my first official one it was still before i took shahada but that's when i fasted for um the whole month uh and that was it was it was good and it was also very hard um because i was not connected to any community yet i didn't i hadn't really found a masjid that i felt uh kind of comfortable and at home in um so 
it most of most of the month was just me fasting by myself in my house um and it was it was it was senior year and I, it was graduation and it was all the, the senior year things that were happening and so alhamdulillah i still managed to like fast through all of those um and my friends were very very supportive um they i think made me feel very <laughs> They, they never, you know, made fun of me or anything for fasting. They were always very encouraging. They always would count me down until Maghrib time. Like, it, they would make a really big thing out of it and like, oh, yeah, she can finally eat. Um, and it was just kind of a joke that like, whenever we would go somewhere to the movies or we'd go to an event, I would just have a massive amount of food in my bag. <laughs> so that when Maghrib time hit, I just straight up brought out like a Tupperware of like rice and beans and like a massive water bottle. And it's just like, wherever we are, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna start eating now because I'm hungry. Um, but yeah, so my, I, even though I didn't have Muslim community, my, my close, uh, friends, all of whom were non-Muslim, were super supportive and super helpful, and kind of made made that part of Ramadan um, fun. Um, and I think it's near the end of that Ramadan that I actually reached out to MCC East Bay, and that is when I got connected with Munir and Humera. Um, and so that was that was really great. And I wish I had done that sooner, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, just to remind everybody that Georgia was not um, a converted Muslim. She had done tons of research. The first time I met her, my I was blown away by how much, mashallah, she knew. And in my heart, it was like, she's already a Muslim. She she practices like like anybody who has was born into it or who has done a lot of research into it. She was doing salah, she, she knew a lot of the, um, all the arkans, she was, she had fasted this whole month all alone without any support. That was just amazing to me. And um, I think that was our first meeting and our first connection. And since then it has been, alhamdulillah, uh, a bond that I hope to continue will, will flourish as time goes on. So also another thing that um, was that since then, what about your second experience in Ramadan or after con converting? How did you feel? Was the community supportive of you? Did you feel that your needs were being met? Or what would you like us as a community to improve upon? Yeah, I think I think the big difference for me between like my first Ramadan and, and the next ones were not even not even really taking the shahada that made that much of a difference, but me f seeking and like kind of attaching myself to a masjid because before, I mean, because I was a teenager, I didn't have a driver's license, you know, it's hard to get places anyway. Um, but before I just didn't have um, a community. So once I found one like MCC that I felt comfortable in, then it was like, oh, okay, I, I need to like look at all the events they're doing and see if I can make any of these. Um, so that's, and, and also going off to college, there was a Muslim Student Association. So there were a couple things, uh, a couple events that we had. Um, but I think for, for converts, how, how, how masjids can accommodate them, I would say is just be really, open-minded and easygoing um, that it's it's really hard to fast it's really hard to pray five times a day and like a convert might want to fast Ramadan even if they've only been studying for six months and they might not even have all five prayers down yet but just to kind of meet them where they're at which I think MCC East Bay and a lot of mosques are, are good at but just making sure as community members, you're not like, oh, it's it's your first Ramadan. Well, you're gonna pray uh, in the mosque every night. You're gonna go to Tarawih. And like, I didn't even know what Tarawih was. I don't think I prayed Tarawih until like my second Ramadan, which is good because it, it people can start, especially during Ramadan, because so many born Muslims are excited about all the sunnah that you can do during the month. It's like, well, you gotta slow down with converts, just help them focus on the fart because they don't even, understand all of that yet sometimes um so yeah and just knowing that if if there are converts in your community just being proactive about reaching out to them and 
inviting them to iftars and especially Eid. Uh, Ramadan can be really lonely as a convert, but Eid especially can be just so sad when you don't have, like I always threw an Eid party with kind of my friends and my family, none of them Muslim, but I would just make food and just like put up decorations and, um, but it's just different when you're able to have just a, a Muslim like family to celebrate it with. And so that was really nice that Alhamdulillah, I've been able, after I met Homera, I've been able to celebrate all the Eids with her. And that just makes a world of a difference because it's, you know, you finally get that celebration, you get that community and kind of feeling like you're really, you know, you get to experience what all the other like born Muslims talk about because a lot of born Muslims are like, Ramadan is all about Tarawih and then Eid and we're going out and it's all like fun and converts were like, oh, we don't know what, we don't know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> so just, just being proactive, I think, and reaching out to them because I know I was really shy and really hesitant to reach out or to ask for help or anything because I didn't really know what a masjid could offer. Mashallah. How about sharing that list with us? You know, because I also struggle with that thing, thing that, that as you said, that um, it's very easy to, Alhamdulillah, there are many resources to find um, in our times. Now, this time, um, ask me when 15 years ago or 20 years ago, when I was a mom with young kids, it was very hard to find resources that you could sit home and still be inspired by these great scholars, male or female. And female scholarship was not very prominent at that time at all. So we are very blessed that we live in these times where through internet and Instagram and Facebook and Zoom, we, uh, we have access to mashallah scholars from all around the world. So I would love for you to share that with me. Um, and with that note, I just wanted to say, we miss you terribly. We hope to see you soon, even if we can social distance appropriately. And so <laughs> I hope we can do that. Um, just this morning, we were discussing that um, Eid, we have to somehow manage to see each other and and um, at least wish one another. I wish you a blessed Ramadan, Georgia. And um, let me know if you need anything and let MCC, Munir, myself, we are all here at the service of anybody who um, needs a uh, just a year to listen to, just a helping hand. Take care. Bye, Fiz. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum.